Hey everybody, I'm Narice Castillo from Makers Women and this is Women Make Shit Happen. Now you could take away the superhero's costume, but you can never take away her superpowers. And our favorite hero, Serena Williams, does not need a cat suit in order to win on the tennis court and win again and win again and again. The new mom stepped out of the French open court for the first time since giving birth wearing a black cat suit designed by Nike. Fans went crazy over the sleek ensemble online. But the French Tennis Federation? Not so much. The organization's president decided that it was very disrespectful to wear those type of outfits on the court. So Billie Jean King and Nike went off to Twitter to call off all the bullshit. I had an epiphany at the Los Angeles Tennis Club and I just remembered something was wrong, that everybody who played tennis was white, the clothes were white, the shoes were white, the socks were white, the balls were white. And I remember asking myself, where is everybody else? Then I basically formed my goals in life through that, and that was to fight for equal rights and opportunities for men and women. That was going to be my life's work. Speaking of badass black women in tennis, meet Katrina Adams, the first ever black president of the U.S. Tennis Association, the people who host the U.S. Open. In a recent interview, Katrina Adams said that the only way to push for women in progress, especially women of color, is to break down all the stereotypes. In a recent interview, she said, there are always glass ceilings to break from a female's perspective and even more so from an African-American perspective. Dolores Huerta co-founded United Farm Workers Union in 1962. 56 years later, they have their first female president. Teresa Romero is the first Latina and first immigrant woman to head to the nationals, all while carrying the torch of Dolores Huerta. In the year 2006, on May the 1st, there were uh, probably millions of Latinos marching around the immigration issue. And they were all chanting, Si se puede, when in Spanish means, yes, we can. Well, I originated that phrase, but everyone uh, thinks that Caesar originated it, right? Uh, so I, I like to sometimes when I speak in front of an audience, and especially Latino audience, say, and Si se puede was originated by Dolores Huerta. This week, California Senator Kamala Harris has been pushing legislation to fight for black pregnant women who are dying at a rate of four times higher than pregnant white women. In a bill introduced Wednesday, Harris is leading the effort to create programs aimed at training doctors and nurses to avoid race-based medical decisions and to improve prenatal and postnatal care. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I'm Nerese Castillo from Makers, and tune in next week for Women Make Shit Happen.